This is the 15th of, of August of 2019. This is for the YouTube channel Knowledge for the Glory of God. It's to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. And as Luke chapter 22 verse 32 says, to strengthen the brethren. Uh, like I said, obviously, brother means sisters and brethren. Um, so what we want to do is keep the keep what's relevant to us and toss out the rest. Now this is about uh, about something happened to me yesterday. So yesterday, early early morning. So I'm gonna pray first, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask you to bless my mouth, bless my eyesight, bless my hearing, bless my speech, bless my understanding, Father. Above all, Father, bless these airways, bless everyone that is hearing. Let them show up, let them like, sh uh, share, and subscribe, Father, that it, your word can be spread more and more and more to more folks. Um, and go throughout the world. Father, touch the internet that it runs fast. Touch this uh, this atmosphere around me and outside this house and on our street that stays quiet while we're uh, recording your messages. Father, I ask the Holy Spirit touch these messages and go out with them and touch every heart that's supposed to hear it in Jesus' name. Like I said, this happened yesterday, August 14th, 2019. I was sleeping. YouTube uh, video just popped on by itself. So I woke up um, I woke up enough to hear where the tribal leaders were putting missionaries under a canopy in the center of their village. okay These missionaries were very grateful to have a place where the children could sleep, even though this canopy didn't have any size or doors to it. And they thought the villagers were being friendly and hospitable. After a while, it started to rain and thunder and lightning, and it got worse. As the night went on, it got worse. Uh, these missionary parents stayed up all night praying and speaking in tongues and rebuking and claiming and quoting scriptures, binding and loosening and casting out demons. When morning came, the tribal leaders came out to them. Now, these villagers didn't know anything about Jesus Christ or about the God of these visitors. But when they seen that they were still alive, the leaders said, we will serve your God. Mm. The missioner says, we haven't told you who our God is. The leader said, we don't care. Your God kept you safe all night long. Now keep in mind, these missionaries were frantically praying for the bad weather to stop. Thank God for unanswered prayers. Then the tribal leaders told them why they let them stay in the village, in the center canopy. The leader said at night lions would come stay under that canopy. In the mornings, the children would forget the lions were there and the lions would kill the children. They were losing too many children. Oh. Now you see where the tribal leaders' thoughts were at? Okay, so when I was fully awake enough, Holy Spirit gave me this first thought. Thank God for unanswered prayers. Hallelujah. <laughs> Thank God for unanswered prayers. Second thought was, do all things without grumbling and complaining. And then the third thought was Psalms 91. Psalms chapter 91. Hmm. We're going to look at uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 9 to 11, King James Version, all these are. 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 9 to 11. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Always bearing about in the body the dying of the Lord Jesus, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our body. For we which live are always delivered unto death for Jesus' sake, that the life also of Jesus might be made manifest in our mortal flesh. Think about that one. And Philippians chapter 2, verse 14 to 16. Philippians chapter 2, verse 14 to 16. Do all things without murmurings and disputings, that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God without rebuke, in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as lights in the world, holding fast, holding forth, rather, the word of life, that it may that I may rejoice in the day of Christ, that I may have not run in vain, neither labored in vain. 
Because Paul's once again telling them to uh, look, keep looking at Christ. Not the situation, but him. And we're going to look at Psalms 91. I'm going to read it the way that, it's, that King James words at first. And then I'm going to insert my name. Because, you know, once you make it personal, you'll feel the atmosphere change. And you'll see things change. Literally. So Psalms 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noise of pestilence. He shall cover me with His, wing, his feathers and under His wings. Um, thou shalt trust. His truth shall be my shield and buckler. And thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flyeth by day, nor for the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at my right side, and ten thousand at my right hand, but it shall not come near my dwelling. Only, in, only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread against the lion and the adder. And the adder there is a, a uh, venomous snake. The young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, and I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Now keep in mind the last, uh, the last three uh, verses right there is the Holy Spirit speaking. Prior to that, it's, it's the person speaking. But I'm going to read this with, and I know I inserted me and my a couple of times, but it's hard not to do. So I'm going to insert me and mine in here. Psalms 91. He that dwelt in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver me from the snare of the fowler and from the noises pestilence. And he shall cover me with his feathers, and under his wings I shall trust. His truth shall be my shield and buckler. I shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wastes at noonday. A thousand shall fall at my side and 10,000 at my right hand, but it shall not come near me. Only with my eyes shall thou, shall I behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because I have made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the most high, my habitation, there shall no evil befall me, which is my refuge, even the most my habitation. There shall no evil befall me, neither any plague come near my dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over me to keep me in all my ways. They shall bear me up in their hands, lest I dash my foot against a stone. I shall trample, uh, tr uh, tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shall I tremble under feet. And then he goes on to say the rest. You know the other three is the Holy Spirit speaking. Other three uh, last verses. And this reminds me of, of uh, there's two. There's uh, two verses in Isaiah. One's in 51 and one's in uh, 54. And one in 54, 17 is um, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. So, oh, I love it. And any tongue that rises against me, thou shalt bring to naught. So I appreciate that. I love it. I love it. I love it. And thank you, Jesus. 
Father God, I ask you to cover everyone with the blood of Jesus. I ask you to, to, uh, that, that uh, you make them, oh, give them revelation, understanding, wisdom. Give them revelatory experience with you that they will never be the same again. In Jesus' name, amen.